Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it is your first time here. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative and today we are just going to do a classic haul of vintage items. Okay, I can see myself, but I can't hear myself. Okay, I hear myself. Okay, good, 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 good. We're go good to go. So this is just going to be a haul of some items that I picked up um, on a road trip to Elkhorn, Wisconsin to a big antique flea market. And right now I see Karen in the chat. So hello. Thank you for being here. Uh, <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh, no, I didn't find any teacups. It looks like you're yelling. Did you find teacups? Because they're all in caps. It's like, did you find teacups? <laughs> no, and not this time. Um, none that were really like in a price range that I wanted to pay or were bougie enough. I'm a very like it has to be an exceptional teacup person to pick them up, even though I love them. Uh, they have to be very, very fancy. <laughs> so also, if you're watching this on the replay or later, just know I unpacked a lot of stuff, but they're still going to be crinkling in this video. So if like crinkling on packaging is like a no-go for you, this just isn't the video for you. So just know that. Um, it's a it's a show and tell it's a it's a live haul things are going to be unpacked so um if it bothers you not the video for you but um we'll see if any more people jump on i came on just a little bit early um because i was ready to go so um but oh my goodness i had such a wonderful time so uh I went to Elkhorn, Wisconsin to meet up with Heather Elizabeth. Uh, I met up with Heather Elizabeth um, from Antique Agenda. Hi, Susie. Hi, Tia Fane. Hi, Tim. <laughs> uh, and we went to the Elkhorn Big Flea Antique Market. Uh, and to be quite honest, the best part of that flea market was just meeting people um, and spending time with Heather. That was my favorite part of the whole trip. Uh, I liked the market, but I don't know. I felt like my best finds were actually from antique stores while I was on this road trip. And I'll show you guys that. Um, I did find great things at the flea market. Don't get me wrong. But I think the best deals were actually in small town antique stores. So, <laughs> Hi, Tati. I hope you're feeling a little better. <laughs> hi, hi. Um, so, yeah, I I honestly feel like on this road trip, it was kind of the little stops that had some of the most amazing deals. Um, also, I'm just going to use this uh, little haul time to just kind of talk about some things coming up on the channel because I'm going to talk about like where I want to sell these items and that will inevitably talk about upcoming sales, sing, things like that. So it'll just come up naturally as we go. So I'm just going to get into it now because we're after eight. So thank you everybody for here and thank you to everybody who watches this later. I appreciate you all. Oh, just laying in bed. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. <laughs> oh, well, take care because everything when you get old hurts. So I, I feel you. So my very first, um, my very first stop was a really teeny tiny uh, antique store in a teeny tiny town in Minnesota. And all I did was like, while I was driving down, I tried to do back roads on the way down, uh, just to make the tr trip a little more interesting. Um, I just kind of did Google Maps and I just would say antiques and I would just say search this area. So I just kind of search around where I was driving to see what was coming up. And I saw this teeny little town and I saw this teeny little shop and I'm looking at the reviews and one of them says, this is the best antique store I've ever been to. <laughs> and so it's like, turn the car, turn the car. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> so um, I went and oh dang, they weren't, they weren't wrong. Uh, this was an amazing store and everything was extremely reasonably priced and um, everything they, uh, sold to me. They just kept like discounting it even without me asking, which was amazing. And the very first piece I found, you might not find that interesting, but I find it really interesting. It is a piece of storage for me. Um, and it it's this big, let's see if I can get it on camera. It's this big piece and it's got like a name on it, which is really fun. It's got handles on top and then on the inside it has flats. 
So I'm going to use this for ephemera storage. So that's a big deal to me. Uh, this was $17 and I marked it down to 15 and I thought that was a great deal for a creepy old vintage case that is going to work perfectly to store ephemera. So that's really exciting for me. Um, finding good storage is always a great thing. And then, so the antique store had like two parts. One was, yes, exactly. Good stuff at a good price is always like a thing. Uh, so the next antique store was more like the Littles. Um, and one thing you should know is I am going to do whatnot sales. And one of the sales I want to do over on whatnot is salt and pepper shakers. But I wanted to keep my buy-in per pair at about $5 per pair. And this guy gave me heckin' good deals on salt and pepper shakers. So here's one of the pairs he gave me for five bucks. No chips, no cracks. Super deco, super unique design, right? I think I've seen a matching teapot to this. I've seen a teapot that is super similar to this. And then the little lids screw off and the lids are also ceramic. No chips, no cracks. These are in great condition, but they say um, made in Japan, stamped on the bottom, but really cool art deco set for only $5. Thought that was a steal. And I think it'll do really well on whatnot. And then I picked up two other sets. These, They're, they have Moriage or Moriagi, so they have the 3D paint on them. Now, these are not Victorian, they are Victorian Revival. I would say these are um, made in Japan. I can just tell. Um, the Victorian ones that would look like this would be, typically be like a milk glass, and these are a ceramic. Oh my gosh, organizing ephemera. See, like one of the things uh, I have found is a lot of people ask me like about organization and stuff. And honestly, I'm just not a good person to do it. Um, I'm not very organized. Uh, even this, like this is chaos behind me. Um, a lot of the places where I store vintage and stuff, people would be like, that's not organized and that's not good. Um, if you've ever seen, sometimes I'll show clips of like my reselling room and it's an absolute mess. So I just, ugh, I'm just not the right person for organization tips. Not, not me. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it together myself. <laughs> but yes, I agree. That'd be cool. Wooden boxes would be cool. And then I got one more pair that is Moriage, Moriagi, however you want to say it. These are a little bit more of a traditional shape. No chips, no cracks. And again, $5 for this pair. I thought that was a great deal. So really great deal. And I was just like, dang, this guy is giving out deals. So, um, and then um, there were all these different rooms. I didn't film. Um, I filmed a lot less on this trip because I have a lot of ideas for videos that are just different and not necessarily following me around. So I just have to film less so that I can get the other videos done. Um, but it was a really neat little store. And if I do ever go back, I will film so y'all can see it. And I was in this back room with all these cubbies and drawers and just all this stuff stacked up. So I was kind of digging through things. And I found a sinking of the Titanic book. Now this is kind of a sister book to the Titanic book that I shared on my channel during the anniversary of the sinking. Um, I am going to keep this book but it's beautiful um, and it was only five dollars so it was a great deal um, and this is published in 1912 so this is you know really old so really fun book and I have the sister book so it's exciting to find this um, also I found this beautiful piece and it is a Victorian felt buckle So it would unhook right here. Ah, I'm not going to futz with it, but it's right here is where it hooks. And what I was thinking is this might be really cool to put on, like, maybe, like, turn it into sweater clips or something. I don't know, something like that. I think this could be really fun repurposed. Um, I paid $5 for this. It's really beautiful. And it's got almost a book chain to it, which I thought was beautiful. It's really nice and sturdy. Isn't that neat? 
It is a treasure. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dottie. I, I thought you would like that, Dottie. I, I thought you would. And then I got one more, uh, a couple more little things at that shop. I got a cute little matchbook that he just threw in. I just thought it was cute, and he just threw it in. And then um, I picked up these for resale. These will be for resale. I know sage is a very highly sought after spice, um, especially for people who craft. These are really good for Christmas because this one is green and red and for Halloween. So I picked these up because I know people love to craft with these. And then the very last thing is something I'm super excited about. Um, I can't believe I saw them at the shop. I've, I've never even run into a pair of these. And then when I saw the price, I about gasped. Um, and these will be going to Whatnot, just know that, um, because I really want to just bring the best stuff to Whatnot for my first few sales. Um, no, this guy doesn't sell online. This was, this was very much middle of nowhere, tiny mom and pa thing. So, um, <laughs> Sage does make me think of fall. Yes. Yes. Um, honestly, I just, I love going to small towns to find the, the little stores because there there's where the hidden gems are. And you'll see from this, this little Miss Dainty. I've never found the set before. Um, and the price $15 and I got them for 12. Now it does have a chip. This one has a chip on her bonnet right here. But as you know, these can go very high. So we're extremely good deal on these. <laughs> really cute. So I am going to bring them to my whatnot sale for the salt and pepper shakers so that people are like, Ooh, she's got the goods. Oh, Susie, I'm so glad you love that. I did record a video for that. Uh, it will be coming out at some point, but I did record it because it was so neat. As I was going through that, I was like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing I've ever sold. Uh, seeing those old Vegas casinos in there, I just, oh my God, yeah. that That is probably, I have like one other item that I'm like, oh man, that is the coolest thing I've ever sold. But I think the Matchbook album is the coolest thing I've ever sold. That's really neat. <laughs> oh God, it's so cool. Um, so yeah, never found Miss Dainty before. That was amazing. Um, and then let's see. What did I find at, okay. So the next stop I had was at Elkhorn, the big festival. It was huge. It was a whole fairground. Um, we hit it up for five hours. It was, it was fun. It really was fun. And, um, I got to meet Enamor Amy. I have linked her channel below if you want to check out who she is. Um, but I did most of my shopping with Heather all day. We just hung out and shopped together and I found some really great items for myself and some great items for resale. I think I did a really good job. Oops. Sorry. I just shook. I just shook. Yeah. Didn't mean to do it. So the first item I picked up, this is for myself. And it is this tin. And I think she's just beautiful. Now, I paid up a bit for this, but I thought she was worth it. I have another tin in this series. Not the same woman and not like the spider web background, but I'm going to display them all together. I really like it. I would guess this is 1920s. That would be my guess. But that is the first piece that, one of the very first piece of pottery that I found. Um, Miss Dainty is a left in line. So, um, just a very popular left in line, kind of like, um, Miss Pris by left in. It's just kind of like the human version. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's just kind of like the human, like kitschy Miss Pris or like the left in bluebirds. They have bluebirds, they have a cat, they have, you know, and then they have, um, they have, uh, her, the girl. So they're about the same thing. Oh, you know who it is. Yay. I, I see. I don't recognize the name. So that's exciting that you know who it is. Um, then I picked up this puppy dog. Now this does have a repair, but the repair was done really well. It's one of the legs. 
the repair is done really well. So um, it is a bank and a change holder, kind of like a dresser caddy. You would put your ring on the tail, you know, your watch in the mouth, you know. So I thought this was really cool. I, um, I've never seen it before, so that's why I grabbed it. And it's made by Christ, which it can be an exceptionally expensive ceramic. So um, this is made by Christ. So I thought it was a good pickup, even though it had damage. She was a whole old, huge Hollywood star in old Hollywood. Oh, still making movies into her 80s. I love that. <laughs> but yes, so I thought he was cool. Um, but yeah, Christ can go really high. So I got a great deal on that. I thought it was a, a good pickup. And I haven't really seen many vintage dogs in that colorway of the black and brown. And I figured there'd be somebody out there that'd be excited about it. Um, and then let's see. I also got this. Now, I don't think this is that old to be honest. But it's got such a good like vintage look. It reminds me of the Hager foxes. It's not though. At least I don't think so. I, I'm also toying with the idea that maybe it's a hobbyist piece. I'm not sure. Um, but I do think it's more modern than older. I'm guessing it's probably 2000s. But it's just it's cool. And foxes are cool. And it really has the sculpt of a Hager piece. Now it is some kind of pottery, but it doesn't feel like Hager pottery. It's not heavy. So I just thought he was cool. Um, I picked him up purely on aesthetics, not knowing what he is. I just thought he was cool. And I was like, I think someone will love this. People really like foxes. So thought that was a good pickup. Got a really good deal on that one too. Um, let's see. What else? What else? <sighs> do, 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 do. Okay, I think we're going to get into some crinkling, y'all. And let's see, where is... Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. So I picked up a couple pieces. Now I thought this was going to be for myself, like instantly, no questions asked, but I'm actually thinking I might resell it. So if you're super interested in it, you can always drop me a line via my website. Um, it is this 1950s Miller High Life tray. Hi, Linda. <laughs> you want a raccoon one? <laughs> cool, Toddy. So if you are super interested, let me know. I can make you a pretty good deal on it because I got a good price. It does have wear and patina, but again, this is 1950s. So, you know, they had wear and patina. So I really do love the, the witch, that Miller High Life witch. She's really super cool. But yeah, I think I, I did pick this up for my personal collection, but I think I'm probably gonna let her go. So, um, yeah, if anyone's interested in it, you can always contact me via my website. So, let, I love this piece. I got a good deal on it, and it's beautiful. And then I found something that um, I truly have never seen before, and that is why I picked it up. Um, sometimes, like... I don't know. Sometimes I pick stuff up because I know like, oh, that's going to do well because I've seen somebody else sell it or da, 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 da. But sometimes I just pick up stuff because I'm like, I've never seen that before. And that makes it cool to me. Uh, so this I am keeping for myself. And it is a pyrography advertising box for hairnets. And I paid up for this. Um, but I thought it was just so neat. Now I've seen pyrography boxes that say like, gloves or hats or things like that. And I've seen ones with poinsettias on them. Um, and I've seen ones and it's got the graphic on the inside too. And I've seen ones that are like chocolate boxes, but I've never seen a display for hair nets. So I am going to put this on my shelf somewhere back there. So I'm going to use the, the full display. I think that's really neat. It's just different. Um, it's something I've never seen before. So this one I am going to keep in my own collection. And the booth I found this in, like everything was like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. 
And I was really scared to ask how much this was because it wasn't priced and it was not hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It was much cheaper. So I was I was very excited that they didn't think too highly of it and I could, I could snag it. So um, I also grabbed a cute little Victorian box. I, I'm a sucker for like boxes or anything that holds things, boxes, tins, You'll see that throughout this. I have like a tons, tons of different like tins and boxes and storage items in this that I picked up um, for resale and such. You'll see that. Um, and I got this little Victorian box. And this one I'm gonna keep because it's actually in really bad shape. The inside lining's all coming out. I have to glue it down. And it's kind of broken apart in the back. But it's super cute. And I don't mind all the wear, like that's, that's not something that I mind, although, you know, up here and stuff. Um, but for a collector, I would have to price it pretty low because it's got a lot of wear, but I think he's cute. I'm gonna use it as a display. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's see, what else did I get at the antique market, flea market? Ooh. Is this the last piece? Mm hmm. It might not be the last piece. Oh, I did get another pair of salt and pepper shakers for my whatnot sale, little winking dogs. Very cute, very, very cute. There's two of them. Good deal on those two. Now for my whatnot sale, if you've never done whatnot before, don't worry about it. I will advertise more later and I will share links so you all can find it and such. So just so you know about it and being like, uh, my first few sales, they're going to be sheet music and salt and pepper shakers and jewelry. So they're not going to be as big and elaborate items as I do on this channel. So YouTube, you're still getting like the best big stuff. Uh, so don't worry about that. But I definitely want to get over to whatnot and just start and learn. Um, and for my salt and pepper sale on whatnot, I'm going to start it at a buyer's choice $5 start bid. So what happens is I show like 10 salt and pepper shaker pairs and we start the bid at five and people bid on being able to choose which one in the group they can buy. So it's just, it's a little different than YouTube. It's faster paced, but it is kind of fun. So um, this I bought for myself, but if I can't find a spot to hang her within the next week, I will resell her because I don't have a spot for her right now. And one of my rules with art is, if you don't have a spot for it, you can't have it. And I picked her up anyways. I just loved her, I couldn't help it. And so she's got wheat in her mouth. And so she is copyright 1899 by the Conesson Sisters. And then it is uh, copyright 1899 the photo company or AM Chicago, <coughs> excuse me. And on the bottom it says a hay seed. So I think it's supposed to be a pun. I think she's supposed to be being seductive. I think that's what's happening. Hi, Angela. Angela, I'm so sorry I went live during your premiere. I didn't realize you were having a premiere. Dang it, I tried, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, you know, go around Mother Tucker's sale too. So I was trying to go when no one else was was going around, but I tried. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else in here? Nope. That's the end of that. And so let's see. Oh yeah, and you're gonna hear some like unboxing and shuffling and such. And let's see, was there anything else at the antique uh, expo? Oh, one last thing. This is the last thing I got at the antique um, expo at Elkhorn. And it is a cuff and I'll be keeping this. I collect these silver cuffs. I have a ton of them. I love to wear them. They're very rock and roll, very 70s to me. Um, and I've never seen this one before. I've just never seen this flower pattern one. So I thought it was cool find. I thought it was cool find. Okay, so that was everything I got at Elkhorn. So not a not a ton of stuff, but definitely more of the stuff 
from Elkhorn I ended up keeping because I found out at Elkhorn I kind of had to pay up for things. Um, to be quite honest, I I just wasn't as loud at the big Elkhorn show as I thought I was going to be. Um, I found better prices at the small antique malls, um, but I really enjoyed seeing all the people and just seeing it. But I, I don't know. I, I wasn't as like thrilled as I thought I was going to be by the finds there. I found more finds in the Fly Antique Malls. <laughs> Hello! What emoji is that? I'm seeing like face red droopy eyes on, on, um, on the, the thing. It just like reads out whatever emoji you put. So I'm like, what is that? <laughs> Oh no, Angela. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it was, I don't know if it was so much overwhelming as much as I just thought I was going to see the most amazing things I'd ever seen in my life that I've never seen before. And that just didn't happen. I didn't feel like anything I saw there really was like, I've never seen this before. I kind of feel like my local antique stores had a lot of the stuff I was looking at. So that was kind of interesting to me that like, I was like, oh, I kind of, kind of feel like I've seen these type of things. Um, let's see. Another antique store I stopped at had a booth that was running a 50% off sale. And I had stopped at this antique store before. So I knew that it wasn't one of those booths that just always is 50% off. You know, the ones I'm talking about. Um, and so I got this redware puppy and look how big a big one very kitschy redware puppy made in japan and she has babies so she has chain babies that have broken loose let's see if they're the next thing i'm about to open i don't know i might be opening these out of order <laughs> oh it's about the experience about the flea market thanks i was like when I was reading it, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of like, yeah, I don't know. It, it, you know, it was a lot of work. Oh, yep. These are the babies. Hi, Val. Hello. <laughs> so here are the babies. And so I just, I got a really good deal on the mama and the babies. So I was excited about that. These can go very, very high. And um, I got a very good deal. My goal for buying resale this time. Oh, thanks for saying hi. I appreciate it. <laughs> Our local flea market sometimes has dealers of house cleanouts. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be really cool. No, this really felt like it was the best dealers from around country bringing their best stuff. But like, nothing was a super deal and i didn't really find anything that was like a digger there i'll, I'll show some stuff from a digger sale a little later on in the hall but <laughs> those are some big babies they are and that was a big mama the mama's like this big so um yeah really good deal and then just so you know about my thought process on going on this trip so when i was sourcing items for resale i want my average dollar per item to be about five dollars okay because i don't want to put a lot of money into inventory right now i need to be making money more than i need to be spending it right now and i did fairly good on this heather elizabeth from antique agenda will know that i broke my role quite a few times i spent some higher dollar on some items but looking back on a lot of stuff i stayed really close to five dollars on almost every item that you're seeing me show for resale and um that was very intentional so Oh, this piece. So I don't think this is, um, I don't think this is all that old, but it's definitely in like a Fenton style. And I did get this for five bucks. So it is a beautiful cased base with white and pink on side on the, uh, inside. And then it has the silver crest on the top, no chips, no cracks. And it has a smooth pontal. I do not believe this is Fenton. I do not. Um, I will look it up and make sure, but I don't think I would have gotten the deal that I got on this if this was Fenton. 
I just don't think it is. So I will look it up, but I think it's a modern piece. I think this is a modern piece made to look old. So I thought this was a good deal. I thought someone will like it. <laughs> Cause it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's see. Last things from that store. Ooh, this was a fun pickup for resale. Now it's just the box. There is nothing in it, but I thought someone would like that too. I think it'd be great for display. It does have the back of the box, but it's just cute. Just cute. <laughs> so I thought that was a good pickup. Just cute. Ooh, and this piece. So I'm probably gonna keep this for a while, but it might come up for sale. Um, it's called Everybody's Magazine, and this is 1902. I've never even heard of Everybody's Magazine, so it's very beautiful. Has lots of ads inside, like you would expect um, from a magazine like this. It has all the like vintage ads. It's a really neat piece. This is this is almost worth an ephemera share on my channel. This is really a neat one. Yes, great graphics, absolutely. So I thought that was a good pickup. I think I paid all of like $3 for this. So I thought that was good. Um, the box, I think I paid maybe two. So I did really good. You know, when I pick up stuff for resale, I am really looking to double my money at least, right? Because I spent hundreds of dollars to go on this trip. There was gas. It was a six hour drive each way. There was the hotel stay. There was food, you know, like, I spend so much money to go on these trips and to go source and look for things that I need to make sure the items that I pick up have a very large profit margin to help me recover that cost. Because I not only want to make the money back that I spent on these items, but I want to make the money back I spent on the trip. So that's just kind of something for you to keep in mind. If, if, you, if you see like me saying how good of a deal I got on this, and then you see me starting price, hey Angela! and then you see me doing a starting price of higher, you're like, well, why would she do the starting price of higher? I know she got it for cheaper. But the point is I'm trying to make the money back for the travel as well to pick them up, so. Um, and then I picked this up for myself and it is a Shirley Temple scrapbook. This is actually the second one I've ever picked up like this. Um, the other one is in my pile of possible sale items. And this one is all celebrities. So I love these type of things. Um, I have a big collection of them. And my favorite part about this is the person was very organized and they numbered the pages and told you which celebrity was on each page, which is super helpful for me. Timmy were like, oh, that's a famous silent movie star. Like I don't recognize these stars often. And so it was cool that they, they wrote down who all the stars were in this. So that's very helpful for me. <laughs> uh, Angela, I tell you what, Angela left a comment on my last video. Me and Angela just went shopping and she said that me and Heather pick up the same things. Angela, it is so true. I have learned from shopping with Heather that I have to get ahead of her because she found stuff that I would have wanted. She's got a great eye. I was so jealous with a few of the things she grabbed. So, <laughs> um, I don't know what year the scrapbook is. Um, I guess I could date it by the latest picture in it, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know how to date it outside of like trying to find dates on the, um, the ephemera in it and then saying, okay, this ephemera is from whatever era. That would be like the latest date in the scrapbook. It's definitely 30s and 40s, but I'm not sure if it went later or not. Um, yeah, I'm not sure on how, how really to date these. I kind of can date them by looking at the ephemera, but um, I can't quite pinpoint the date exactly. Not like... Um, not like the World's Fair scrapbook I recently picked up. Like I can tell exactly when that's from because they went to the World's Fair. <laughs> oh, yes, Angela, I uh, found two Miss Dainty uh, uh, salt and peppers. So you're going to need to watch back on that. 
<laughs> She's saving those <laughs> money for the flea markets. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, hi. Hi, Michelle. Hello. <laughs> yes. So, um, I, I think, let's see, is that everything from those places? I think so. Now this last grouping of things I found after the flea market, we, um, me, Heather and, uh, Enamor Amy and her mom, Miss Pam, we went to, um, Another antique store that, ironically, I had gone through when I visited Angela uh, just a month ago. It was almost to the day, which was just like the wildest thing to me. I think I went back to that antique store on the exact day that I went on April. Or, yeah, April. I went to that antique store April 22nd, and I think I went to it April 22nd this year. Or, Anyways, it's just wild that I ended up back in the same antique store. Um, I thought that was kind of funny. And in that antique store, I grabbed something that's a bit of a project piece. And I constantly am telling myself, don't buy projects. Don't buy projects. <laughs> she was finding all the goodies. <laughs> um, so I found this. Now, all four are in here. It's the full set of four. Only one has a couple of small cracks on the lid, but all the decals look like this. They're all pretty worn. And so what I'm thinking is I'll make decals for these and I'll sell them kind of like upcycled a little, like with new vintage inspired decals. I haven't decided what to put on them yet. Um, Heather had the idea of doing the left in flowers and that might be something that I'll do. Maybe it's a left in flower inspired or something like that. Um, but yeah, they're all, all four are in here. Um, and I got this at an absolute steal. So, um, pretty excited about that. These can go pretty high. Of course, this isn't the pink or the teal color, which is the most popular. In fact, I've never seen the yellow, so I was pretty excited about it. <laughs> um, and then we went next door to that digger location, uh, where it's just, rummaging through boxes and all the things and I found some really fun goodies in the boxes um I found a bunch of pinup matchbooks little packs so I got a bunch I'm gonna put them in my pinup scrapbook I almost was thinking maybe I should start my own matchbook collection <laughs> I love that one so much but yeah, I got a big stack of them. There was way more in there than that. But I just was like, I can't spend a ton of money on random matchbooks. So, um, and then I also found in a little bin somewhere, a little, little Santa mug, a little sweetie. Look at, he's got his old price tag. Isn't he cute? So his cold paint's actually pretty good. He's got some chipping though here and such, but he's in fairly decent shape for all of these. Um, and then I found this. It's a shoe clip. It does not glow, unfortunately, but it's beautiful. And then this little set of a brooch and earrings. Now, each of these baggies I paid, I think, a dollar. I believe a dollar for each of these baggies. And then this is my, let's see, absolute favorite one I picked. Oh, here's another one. Look at it. It's its original World War sticker for this one. Isn't that fun? It's it's um Christmas candles. I don't know if you can see it through the bag. Sorry for the glare. Um, and then this one, I am absolutely keeping this one. I about died when I found it. It's in its original Woolworth sale bag. And it's a little bird on a music note. <laughs> He's kind of a little rock and robin. Well, not quite, but you know what I mean. So I just thought he was really cute. Really, really cute. Um, and then I did pick up some pieces that I plan on sending to Cole at Kitchy Flower. Um, he makes these little like elf plaques out of these doll heads. And so when I saw him, I just picked them up for him because I know that, that sometimes these doll craft supplies can get kind of expensive online. And for a very small investment, I picked them up. The bird is adorable. 
I'm actually doing okay. I was afraid I was going to be kind of feeling sick after putting in so much um, energy and work from the weekend. I'm actually feeling okay, which is like, I kind of thank my lucky stars. Um, and then I also, in one bag, got two bracelets. I really like this Brutalist one. It's actually Avon. Really pretty. And then this one is missing a bunch of stones. But I, I still, I like it. Um, let's see, was that everything at the Digger place? Oh, no, I got a cute little ink bottle. I'll sell that in something. I don't know what yet, though. Cute little ink bottle. And, oh, this, 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 this. I got this Avon Mad Hatter. I think it's cool. I don't know. Um, I definitely bought it for the box more so than even what's the little dude in it. Like he's kind of cute, but also kind of not like, he's also not the greatest like display piece. I think he would be so cute if he was all painted up. Hmm. That sounds like another project, Catherine. What are you doing? <laughs> but it would be cute if he was painted the way he should be, you know, instead of like this just poop colored bottle. Um, but the box was good. So I thought that was cute. And then after the digger sale, we went to this amazing antique store that was just downtown where we were staying. And this is where we got the best deals. Some of the boxes are love. Oh, I love Avon. I'm not even going to poo poo Avon. I love them. So got this beautiful lace pin cushion and it does have a bunch of little pins little ones i pulled them off though it's got damage on the back but it's just super cute i think this is going to be a fun i i haven't decided if i'm keeping it or i'm reselling it i'm leaning towards reselling this with all the little pins and stuff oh and i got this little cutie it's a it's a spool holder and then a pin cushion I saw it was really neat. And these came from a booth that was 50% off. I think I paid like $2 for this. So I did a really good, good job at sourcing some items. And then, hey, Angela, this is for you. And anyone who loves things that glow. Oh, no, come on. No, is my light really out? Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. I got Fenton. And I paid an amazing price on this. I think I got it for less than 10. So even though I broke my rule about paying only $5 for resale items, I think I did a good job because this is older Fenton because it doesn't have the mark, which means it's prior to 1971. Oh, I know. Wasn't the digger fun? <laughs> yes, satin custard. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. I actually... I was spending, I was just buying too much at this place and I put back some other satin custard pieces of Fenton. Looking back, I'm like, was that the right choice? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I found an amazing piece for resale. Now I do plan on putting this on eBay because I know what I have and it's amazing. If you are very interested, please, please give me a, a send me a message via my website, please. Um, but if, if not, this is, whoops, this is going on eBay. Um, I just don't think in the live sales I can get what this is worth. And so we're going to put it on eBay. So it's a beautiful Victorian box. It does have a little damage right here. Right here. But beautiful Victorian box. Just gorgeous. It's huge, as you can see. And it's got some items in it still. Not all of them. It's definitely missing pieces, but it's in really good shape and it has quite a few items. So, um, because of the condition, because of the size, because of the items in it, um, it is going um, up on eBay. Uh, this is celluloid. These old boxes are celluloid. Um, so yeah, really pretty. And it's got these different things in it. My favorite are these little circles. They're jars. It's kind of neat, but yeah, 
really amazing deal on this. Actually, um, yeah, astonishing deal on this. I don't even know. And then for our glowy lovers, I got another glowy thing that is like the most fantastic thing. I am keeping it. It is a Victorian belt buckle. And this was also in the 50% off booth. And even at full price, I thought it was a great deal. Now, what's interesting about this is the top one doesn't really glow. This one sort of glows. Sort of does. But then this one really glows. I don't know if you're, oh, I don't know if the screen's going to show it. But this one is a super glower. This one kind of glows and this one really doesn't. I think it's just too small. Yeah, I think it's just too small for you guys to see it. Ah, and my light is just dying too. But let's see if you can. Oh, there you can see it. See, it's glowing uranium. There you go. But yeah, super fun piece. I just think it's beautiful without even the uranium glow. This is another piece that I think would be really neat put on like if I made a caftan and this was like put on it as a belt or something, but really fun. Um, and let's see. And then the last piece I think I got at that amazing antique store. Like I can't that, I mean, we found the best stuff there. It was fantastic. Is this hat pin. Let's see how tall it is. Here's the end right here. Here's the top. And it is Nouveau. Oh, do you hear Lily? Oh, do you hear her? She, she wants up. Lily, come here. Well, come here. My cats are being very dramatic because I left them for a couple days. Come here. Everybody, say hi to everybody, Lily. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, friends. Hi, friends. Yeah, you gonna say hi? Oh, yes, yeah, say hi and get all the scratches. Mm -hmm. She might just need to be here. She's been, you know, super cuddly because I've been gone a couple days. <laughs> oh, she's purring now. So I think, I think we're stuck with her. And then the last items I have to show, I just stopped at one uh, little place. Uh, on the way back today and I got some really cute things. I have one, two, three, three things to show from there. So, um, and they were pretty great prices. In fact, this piece, I was like, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? I kept looking over trying to figure out what was wrong with it. It's an ice bucket. Isn't that fun? <laughs> He's like, what is it? <laughs> Anyways, it's just, a, it's just a nice bucket. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of kitschy and fun. I thought if somebody had a red kitchen, that would be a fun piece. And then I picked up, I paid up a little for them, but I think, I think they're worth it. I picked up these sparklers. They're in there. They're in there, by the way. And it just, they have great graphics. So I picked up two of them. They are slightly different. I think I'm going to keep one and I'll probably sell the other one. Um, I do plan on having a pride sale again this year. Uh, the donations will yet again go to the Zebra Coalition. Uh, that is the organization that works in Florida with LGBTQ youth and homeless LGBTQ youth. Uh, so I do plan on having it a pride sale again. I think I'm going to sell one of these at the pride sale. So I have a lot of plans for June y'all. I'm going to have to pace myself. I have a lot of plans. Uh, so uh, get ready. June's going to be kind of wild. Um, and then the last, this is the very last thing in the whole haul. So the last thing is I got these little salt and pepper shakers that are little turtles. Are they not neat? I've never seen these ones before. So I thought they were pretty dang cute. We got a pair. They're very like mod and kitschy. And these will go to the whatnot sale as well. So, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Lily, no, no, no. No, you can't go on the shelf. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> 
I'm sitting farther back than usual so she can reach the shelf and this is not good. <laughs> but that is it y'all that is the whole haul so thank you for hanging with me I know this was a long video and a long time uh, to hang out but I just uh, thought I would oh hi hi tell her meow meow <laughs> Angela tell her meow meow <laughs> um, but I just wanted to show stuff I'm, I'm nosy I love seeing hauls I love seeing what people pick up it's like one of my favorite things uh, but coming up this month, so at the end of this week, this weekend, I will be doing the choice sale that I postponed um, from a couple weeks ago. I wasn't feeling well a couple weeks ago, and I had to postpone it. Um, it will be this weekend. So the choice sale is coming up, and there's going to be two of everything in it. And there's going to be some great Victorian items, great mod items. It's going to be a great kitschy stuff. It's a real fun, wide array. And if you like something, there's going to be choice. So you might be able to get something because there's multiples of it. So, you, you know, it, I, I think it's just kind of a fun idea to just do the wholesale choice. Um, so that will be this weekend. And then in the next two weeks, I will be doing my first whatnot sale. I don't know exactly when. I will make sure everybody knows the date and time. And uh, then this month, I'm also planning on doing a drop sale with a group. Uh, I'll announce all the info so you can see it, but it'll be a group drop sale. Um, and so for those, they kind of just go in order here on YouTube. And I will be doing a pride sale and all donations uh, or all proceeds from your purchases minus shipping. I still need to charge shipping to get you the items. Um, um, I'm not taking any of the profits. They'll all go to the Zebra Coalition. And that benefits LGBTQ youth in Florida. And that's... Um, it's a, it's a cause very close to my heart, and if you're seeing all the things that are happening on the world today, it's it's a cause that I truly believe in. And um, and then also, I think I'm going to do like some kind of fancy ladies brunch sale. Everyone is invited, of course, so I have to figure out how to word it so it maybe is a little more inclusive and doesn't sound like it's women only or something, but there's going to be a lot of purses. We're talking purses with Bakelite handles. We're talking... Whiting and Davis, we're talking Lucite purses. Like, it's going to be so fun. This is going to be a really great purse sale. And I'm also going to bring some fancy schmancy stuff. Uh, so it's just, maybe I just call it the fancy schmancy sale. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it really is, I, I've been uh, collecting really beautiful high-end purses. I mean, I've got the 1920s beaded purses, too. I've been collecting these for like eight months now for this sale. So that will be a fun one too. And I plan to do that one in June. Ah, you've got the brunch goods. <laughs> actually, so the sale actually had planned to be a sale with two. It just didn't work out. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to do that one um, on my own. But I have been uh, saving up some fancy purses. Also, my... Uh, antique store that I have a booth at, the owner there has some really fancy purses. She said she'd let me put in the sale. They just have to start at a high. Um, they just have to start what she's asking for them in the antique store. And I said, cool. Purse first. <laughs> Cute. I like it. <laughs> um, so I might be able to bring some really nice designer um, Lucite stuff. Um, depending on what she'll let me put in the sale. So it's it's going to be good, no matter what. I mean, Whiting and Davis, 1930s cord purses, It's it'll be good. So um, y'all will love it. I, I've found some really nice things, and I've worked really hard for that one. So that's about it, y'all. So I will see you later this week. I will see you for my uh, choice sale. Um, and if you are on Whatnot, hopefully I'll see you on Whatnot soon, too. I'm very excited about that. Um, and yeah. Oh, and my Daisy Jones video is almost done. So if you're looking forward to that, it's just about done. Just about done. Yes. Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you'll have to rewatch. I shared, um, finds like my entire trip. So traveling there and traveling back. So I made lots of stops at little antique stores too. And then y'all, uh, below I have links to, um, Heather Elizabeth, Antique Agenda's channel, and Enamor Amy. I did meet up with them at Elkhorn, so 
Um, be sure to follow them. Um, I will have an Elkhorn video coming out. I'm not sure when, but I will have a video. Um, I was hoping to coordinate with Heather, but it might not work. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Have a great night, everyone. Um, and stay creative and I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>